shooting in Philadelphia caught on camera. It happened just day after midnight in the Frankfurt section of the city. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live at police headquarters with more on how authorities were able to spot the suspect in the act. Crystal, good morning. Good morning. Well, the shooting actually happened near businesses and several homes. Witnesses at the scene reported hearing the gunshots, but it was officers here at the real-time crime unit who actually saw what happened. Evidence markers littered the sidewalk near Bridge and Hawthorne Streets. We found 23 spent shell casings. Police say a 30-year-old man was shot several times in the head, back, and torso. A baseball cap among his belongings left at the scene. According to neighbors, they say that this 30-year-old frequents the intersection here. Police say the shooting happened around midnight in Philadelphia's Frankfurt neighborhood. Investigators learning of what happened not from 911 calls, but from officers monitoring the city's real-time crime cameras. And they witnessed a shooting. They immediately notified police radio. We're told the first 911 calls did not start pouring in until about a minute after officers alerted the 15th police district. It helped police get here much quicker than a 911 call. First responders rushed the victim to Temple University Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at 12.23 a.m., according to police. Authorities now hoping the surveillance video helps them track the whereabouts of the gunman. Ran north on Hawthorne from bridge after firing multiple shots. And police say the suspect was last seen wearing a white hooded sweatshirt and dark pants. At this hour, police have no idea what the motive was behind this shooting. That's the very latest outside police headquarters. Crystal Fanmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Crystal, thank you.